we die when we pass over. We are greeted by our spiritual guides, by our family and ancestors and loved ones. They welcome us with peace and love. We then go into a life review. It's where it's reviewed without judgment. It's a beautiful thing we go through. Then we have to decide whether we stay and be our soul selves in heaven or hell or in the source, whatever you believe in, in the universe. Do we stay and do we learn? and learn how to become a better version of ourselves or do we come and reincarnate into another soul human soul animal soul whatever you want to be and do we re repeat those mistakes from the past do we get rid of the karma we couldn't fix within our own human existence it's all up to us it's our choice whatever we do in the end is our choice so i hope that helps solve some questions if you have any more let me know happy to answer them one interesting question that I was just asked is if we choose to reincarnate into another human soul into another existence here on earth what actually happens to our original soul did you know that as you reincarnate into a new soul a piece of you from each of your life that you've lived here on earth and interdimensionally actually travels with you you always hold a piece of your own past within you and, you learn, and some people said, what about when you do seances and people are contacted behind, beyond the grave? A piece of you, your essence still lives within source, within galaxy, because we are made up of, of energy. Everything comes from energy and source. A piece of you will still always be there floating around in source. A piece of you will always remain in the universe, regardless whether you reincarnate or not. I hope this helps answers your questions. So if you do pass away and your loved ones are wanting to connect with you, a piece of you will always be out there floating around in source. Does anyone ever think, do we actually need any of these tarot readings or understandings or spells or anything like that really? How about we actually find the source of the problem? We actually get real with ourselves and find what's going on with our within our own psyche to actually make us question and want to understand and believe more. Once we do that, you'll find out how much more you know just by talking to yourselves, having a conversation with yourself, getting real with yourself. What is the problem? How can I fix it? How do I fix it? How do I understand me better? Get real with yourself, have a conversation, may as tough as it may be, have a real conversation, genuine conversation with yourself, understand you more as a being, journal how to fix it, so write what the problem is, how to fix it, and what outcome you would like. Get real with yourself, see how um, it changes your mental health and aspects on your life. Give it a go, I bet you'll change. The thing about not believing me or believing me or believing anybody and what they say, free will. As human beings, we actually have free free will. We are the only, one of the only races within our galaxy that has free will. There are starseed races out there that actually are enslaved and must follow the rules that are governed towards them by um, their hierarchy. So thank yourself very lucky that we have free wills as a human being and you can believe to choose me or not choose me in what I say. So the choice is yours. Free will reigns at the end of the day. You're a human, you have free will, you're lucky we actually have it. Some species aren't so lucky to have it.